This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, if Anderson rides his bike at a constant speed of 15 miles per hour, how many minutes will it take him to ride a quarter of a mile? So in order to solve a question like this, we're of course going to use the distance formula, that is distance is equal to rate r times t time. In this case, we know that he rides his bike at a rate of 15 miles per hour. We want to know how many minutes that's in reference to t or time will take him to ride a distance of a quarter mile. So this becomes 1 fourth equals 15 t. And all we have to do is solve for t. Now, the first thing I want to point out is this. We're given his rate in terms of miles per hour. That is, he rides his bike at 15 miles per hour. But we want to know how many minutes it's going to take him to cover a quarter of a mile. So we have a little bit of a conversion problem. If I solve this equation right here, it's going to tell me how many hours it takes him to cover that quarter of a mile. So after I solve this equation, I'm going to have to convert this answer to be in terms of minutes. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and solve this one. To get t by itself, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 15. Uh, this crosses out. Again, I could write 15 as a fraction by placing it over 1. And then right here, we have 1 fourth divided by 15 over 1. That is to say we're dividing two fractions. So we're going to follow the algorithm, keep, change, flip. We're going to keep 1 fourth the same. So this becomes 1 fourth. We're going to change from division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip this bottom fraction. So instead of being... 15 over 1, it's going to be 1 over 15. When you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 15 is 60. So we can see that uh, 1 fourth divided by 15 over 1 is going to be 1 over 60 equals t. This says it's going to take Anderson 1 60th of an hour to cover that quarter of a mile. Now let's convert this to minutes. Again, we're going to convert hours to minutes by multiplying this by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. Let's make this math very easy to do by placing 60 over 1. And we can cross reduce. 60 goes into 60 one time. 60 goes into 60 one time. This is 1 over 1 times 1 over 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So 1 60th of an hour is 1 minute. In other words, it's going to take Anderson 1 minute at 15 miles per hour to cover that quarter of a mile.